right, good morning, everybody. I think it's uh, December 8th now. I don't know. Ooh. It's around 9 a.m. Uh, I didn't get home till like 3 last night, something like that. So I'm a little tired. But, knock on wood, the weather's really good. So, got our Reaper cup. Get some coffee brewing. And, uh, I just got word there's some bass still outside my inlet. I figured, you know, I moved the boat up to uh, Barnegat. And, uh, for like over a week now, we've had a insane uh, striper, striper plate right off my inlet, but it is what it is, no complaints. So let's see what's like out. I'm trying to go tog fishing tomorrow, but it's really gonna blow hard northwest tonight. Um, as of now, today the lagoon looks beautiful, um, and the forecast will look good last night. So, so let's get up around 8:39. And uh, if it still looks good, maybe what we'll do is we'll take the little boat, we'll go out togging for a little bit. Um, buddy just texted me, said right out the inlet, fishing for striper is really good, but all trolling. I really don't want to catch any trolling. Um, I'll bring like one trolling rod, some topwater stuff, some jigs. Um, so if I see them on the way out, maybe we'll stop and catch a striper or two. But if not, right out to the tog grounds. Rambo loves it outside. Look, he's just dying to get out here. Nobody. Look at him. He's literally destroying the tree. My wife is gonna kill him. Rambo. Rambo. No. He literally attacks the tree. <laughs> Rambo. <laughs> He's bad. He lives up to his name. I'm telling you. It's crazy. Alright, guys. Got the Evan Rude E-Tech Purring. So, as you can see, it's, uh, I mean, it's a, you basically put on a uniform. And you go, you know, late fall fishing here in New Jersey. By the time you get all your layers on, uh, you're like sweating and you're dying to get out in the cold. Pretty cool, actually. Just reminds me when I was a kid, striper fishing down in the Cape May Rift. Hopefully, we still got crabs in here. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah. Them. See guys, this one's bent. It's brand new. So I think it either got trapped under the dock or an otter was trying to eat my white leggers. Okay, let's get a bunch of these. They look good and happy. Get them on board. Let's uh load it up. Uh, let's get on out of here. It's probably the last trip on the little boat for this year uh, I'll probably keep it until like right before Christmas, but uh, this very well could be the last trip could be the last trip ever On a uh, little Reaper. This one's Lil L-I-L Reaper We'll see. I haven't really decided yet. I'm still waiting on the right next boat Next little boat I should say uh, A lot of guys and girls been asking me what I'm looking for. I'm really looking for a 24 to 26 center console uh, something custom um, the old 25 CV, uh, the old 25 Contender. There's two companies down in Florida, that Competition Boats and LTB Tournament Boats. I've been looking at them. Um, I don't want like a, just a production boat. I want something that's really gonna ride nice, drift nice, um, and just built for fishing. But I also want it to be fast. I want like, you know, legit high 30s, low 40s cruise, top out over 50. I want something to be able to still go in the bay. You know, it's deep where I fish mostly. And then be able to sprint north for bluefin in no time. Um, I bought this thinking I was going to do a lot more back bay fishing, but I don't know. It's just I don't do it a lot. It's not it's not for me. I only do it maybe once or twice a year, if that. I always want to be in the ocean. You see, guys, the lagoon is uh, really pretty. I just love this time of year. Um, it's funny. My wife, she hates winter. As I age, I like it more and more. Not not quite the dead of winter. You know, February, March around here gets pretty gnarly. Uh, but now that we've been perch fishing and winter winter flounder fishing, it doesn't bother me as much at all. But right about now is like my favorite time of year, November, December. I just love it. It's like almost 10 o'clock. Uh, 
it's one of those overcast days that sometimes the bass bite all day i'm just getting on scene there's a lot of high flying uh looks like chick birds and uh little turns i don't see much of the way again it's um so i'm gonna kind of maybe make one or two passes trolling and then i'll see if anything's up top i can throw you know top water at or what have you uh but maybe we'll put you know one or two fish in the boat catch release hopefully not hook my hand and uh and then we'll go target that's the culprit right there that's the that's the sucker that was in my hand right there bugger all right guys so we've got the got the one out already already marking some bait there some fish just inside on the line on the old rebel lump. okay oh this is a nice one guys better fish what i was just about to say is when we go through the gannets we're not really marking much but uh you know just like that i got this thing got nailed of course i didn't get it on the take these gopros are acting up for some reason oh yeah look at you oh i got two that's why oh man <laughs> Woo. come on you get over here come on get over here oh this is gonna be interesting guys all right come on come on get over here look at oh okay look double trouble baby double trouble huh okay now let's get you off yeah you're hooked easy all right fishing number one <laughs> get back there baby and then we got fishing number two come on all right now this is on the double hook so we got to be careful the hook out all right come on come on come on okay 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 come on let's get you back let's get you back come on let's get you back all right that's it come on baby oh he saw him off just fine okay so i can't get you guys one of those strikes on the on video here i think the teaching point today is as i've said before you don't need a six rod spread for striper trolling you got to be in the right place at the right time that's 18 times not even 18 a thousand times more important than seven rods i don't know how many we've caught already we've only been fishing for about 10 minutes and i have one rod out right i mean granted the fishing's really good right now but it's all about right place right time and making sure what you have out is running right and you're confident in it i see a lot of guys out here you know they're running seven eight rods man all you're gonna end up doing is getting tangled you know uh, it's just it's not worth it i mean you went out here trolling for tuna right tuna you, you might only get one crack at it that's why we troll eight nine ten rods but also more with that you're really trying to create you're trying to create the illusion of a school of squid or, or fish with this it's really you're getting more of a reactionary strike it's not like the striper coming from you know 60 feet deep looking up at your spread or 100 feet deep looking up at your spread he's just down there feeding on bunker and out of nowhere you know your mojo kind of comes within his sight range he's like oh what's that and then boom he goes and gets it so <coughs> <coughs> wrong tube you know what else is pretty cool team about these fish being right here is you know my friends are out i got steve on the home run he lives right across the street from me captain bob from offshore paulie's out here somebody else is waving so that that's fun you know your buds are, are catching fish too so that's that's always neat bird mayhem here there's steven on the home run see you out captain bob hooked up <laughs> Yeehaw. Hey, don't you work anymore? I can't. What's this? <laughs> there we go, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. We got him. On the jig, baby. On the light gear. Ah, that's a striped bass. All right. So, guys, all I did, I just dropped down a one of my mojos down to the bottom i don't have any like flutter jig or anything like that but come on baby oh no ah oh, i popped him off damn all right i tried to i had a really short leader on there i tried to hoist him up and the, the darn the uh, it broke ah the line broke I'm so bummed that that mojo will shake right out of that fish i'm a thousand percent confident so he'll be just fine look at him look at him right there oh my god look they got the bunker up top look at that 
Oh, that's so fun. Look at that. Come on, baby. Big old plug. It's gonna kind of mimic a, a bunker. Let's see. Come on, baby. Stay up top. Look right here. They're right here. Look, they're right here. Look at them. Look at them go. <laughs> oh, that's just worth it just watching them eat them. Look at them go. They're so keyed in on the adult bunker. I don't think I'll get bit here. All right, guys, kind of strange. I really wasn't doing well uh, jigging. I only got one. Uh, I think I'm being a little impatient because I have tog on the brain. Um, I'm going to put the trolling rod out. Um, just maybe make one or two passes here and just see if I mark them thick, really thick. Um, and then if not, I think we're on target. This is tough to leave though, it's just really fun. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I knew they were still around. Come on. Where you at? Oh, you on the trailer, huh? They're on the trailer. Woohoo. Oh man, nice one. Nice one, guys. Nice one. Oh man. Come here, you stud. Come on, handsome. Oh, yeah, he'll be just fine. Give me that leader. Come here. Come here, handsome. Hey. Give me that mojo. Give me that mojo. Thank you. Oh wow. You think you wanted it? Look at it. Way down, handsome. Beautiful, New Jersey. Ow, oh, he bit me good. Beautiful New Jersey striper. All right, he bit me real good, huh? Get out of here. All right, let's just let this run here real quick. Watch how quick I deploy this rig and get bit. I got a bad case of the old striper thumb. I missed it. I haven't had it in a couple years. This is great. Oh my God, I just put it out. I literally just put it out. Literally just put that rod out there. Oh, I'm just tired. Let's see what we got here. So he hit the lead bait, the heavier bait. Man, these are perfect size fish too, guys. All, all perfect size. Come on. Let me see that job. Let me see that mojo. Yeah, you'll be just fine. Come on. Okay. That hook came right out. And uh, he'll be just fine. Gonna try and get one strike on camera and then let's go target. Already got strike. Look, already got hit. Look at that. I just put it down. <laughs> I literally just put it back there. Ah, now, what I've been doing is I just pop the seat that way. And uh, we're fighting, baby. All right, guys, this is going to be the last one. Let's land this fish. I'll show them to you. And uh, we'll go target. I don't want to hurt any more stripers. If I was going to keep one, this would be the good size for it. but. He's gonna go back. Come on, darling. Okay. Hook right in the jaw. Yeah, guys. Beautiful New Jersey striper. Big fat belly. I bet there's a bunker or two in there. Let's let her go. All right, come on, drop. All right, so first little spot. This is a spot I've been really kind of wanting to try for a little while now. Um, it's really small, so I need it to be somewhat decent out here so I can stay over top of it. Let's see, it looks like I'm marking some low-lying structure. This is more, it's not like super demonstrable. You're not gonna see this giant wreck pop off the bottom. It's more confidence in uh, 
in the numbers and what you're seeing. So same rig as before. Let's see what we got. I'm going to start you guys right here and uh, we'll go from there. That's like perfect size right there. there you go. Let's keep her female probably. Close. Nah, she's probably small. Ah, my troll motor just won't hold me. Damn it. Alright, so this, this piece is a little bigger, just a little deeper, maybe 10-15 feet. Shouldn't make too much of a difference. Um, we had fish out this deep last week. Um, so with it being a little sporty, should be able to hold on this a little better. So let's see. Nah, I'm having trouble on this too, guys. Got a problem here. I don't know guys. Troll motor's not holding. So we might be uh might be done here. I don't know raining now too need for the faint of heart guys Come on. oh man it sucks guys kind of rats I mean we just started we got a lot of life here just it's just howling now just like that it's like a switch just flipped right on Every bit of 20 now. We ain't holding for much longer. That's a better one. Ah, oh, it stinks. There's fish here too, guys. Ah, son of a monkey. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to hold now. Decent one? Oh, not really. <laughs> it's alright. Alright guys, so I, I came back in shore, it's just yeah, too rough out there. Uh, the birds are still here, I already marked a couple fish, so what they want to do is just maybe commit to, the, uh, to trying to jig in a couple here. I'll try a couple different things. I don't have a ton of stuff on board, so we're kind of limited with what we can do, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, jig one or two more fish here. Try a big old Ava jig, huh? Oh God. Tons of fish right on the boat. There we go. There we go. I got him now. Yeah, I got you. That's fun on the light gear. Look at the screen lit up. Look at the screen lit up, guys. Look at that screen. Ha ha ha. Ah, yeah. Now that's how to catch them. That's how you catch them like that. That's fun. Oh, this is so cool, guys. This is so cool. Oh, look how pretty you are. Come here, girl. Let me see that. Let me see my jig. See my jig. Oh, yeah, pop right off. Perfect. Look at them. They're right here. They're right here. Look at them go. Look at them go. Look at that one right here. Oh, that is so fun. Look at them. They're just right here. They're just right here. Look at them go. Spoiling all around them. Wow. Just boiling all around me. Unbelievable. Guys, look right behind the boat, right behind the Evan Look at them boiling right there. See them? Look at that. Unbelievable. Again, I'm flailing around like a kook. I got nothing really on board. But look at them go. I mean, that's just, it was so fun just watching them, honestly. Oh my God, look at there's boiling everywhere. Look at them go. Look at them. Oh, ho, ho. so pretty. Fortunately, I don't have anything really big on the boat, guys. Oh, this is so cool. They're just keyed in on these adult bunker, though. I don't... Look at them go. Oh, my God. Look at them. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if they'll hit this little shad, you know? <laughs> this is the way you want to catch them. Woo! Yeah, baby. Oh, this is so fun. This is just so cool. Oh my God, guys. This is just what you live for right here. All out. Oh, man. Hey. 
Hey you. Come here. Can I have that back? Can I have that back? Yes, thank you. Ow. Beautiful. Back there, baby. I finally got a jig that's kind of working here. They're liking the uh the bigger Ava. They like it well, okay. They like it puffs the bottom. Oh man, he nailed it right there. Absolutely nailed it. Come on. Oh yeah! That's so fun! <laughs> Ooh. Woo! It's just so fun. <laughs> oh! Broke me off. I suck at life right now, guys. I just do. I'm just really, really did not uh I did not bring my A game here at all. Oh, he nailed it right there. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Good lord, he nailed it right at the boat. Wow. Wow. I was just coming in to make sure the Lord was running all right. Nailed it right at the boat. Wow. Beautiful, guys. Look at that. Mark him thick. Let's get back down there. That's weird. I wasn't getting bit. I was like, what the hell's going on here? The real teaching point today is don't be lazy. I left this morning and I had a whole little tackle tray of, uh, you know, like top water plugs, little swimming plugs, and I don't know, more, more stuff to do this. Uh, I didn't think it'd be look anything like this or I'd have a shot at this. Uh, I thought we'd really be togging, but you know, always come prepared. And I'm not really all that prepared. We're making do, you know, we're catching some fish, but it should be way better. I need like, uh, better plugs and, and some bigger swim shads that I all have at my house, but I just didn't bring with me uh, But that's the other you know downfall having a really small boat I mean, I don't, I don't have room for all this stuff anyway when I'm on the big boat. It's, it's it's so easy You know, it's like oh, I got whatever whatever I need. I got it. You know, it's easy. All right There's fish here. Let's see. If we can't get a couple The other thing too on my both my light tackle setups I brought with me the one the anti-reverse broke and then the other one I must have like something's busted in the tip because I keep breaking the line so you know, that's why I'm jigging with this. The best thing that they were biting was the damn Ava jig. I lost that, unfortunately. There we go, baby. There we go. Woo. That reaper rod bend, guys. Put a little big swim shed ahead. I totally forgot. We're just working with what we got here. Whoops. All right. Another nice, beautiful striper. Are you guys kidding me right now? Look at that beautiful vanilla sky, Atlantic City in the background. Great striper fishing right out my inlet. Um, man, it reminds me when I was a, a young man. Uh, just so cool. Look at that sky. It, it's just, if that doesn't get you excited and touch your soul, I don't know what does, guys. Oh, just got yeah. Just about, to, just about to start jigging it. What I figured is I would going to reposition I figured I would slow just slow troll that shad until I marked them and I literally I marked my screen lit up and I was just about to start jigging it and bam she got whacked I lost track I don't know how many we caught super cool Woo. where you at girl Quick, looks like they're making up one last time. Catch maybe one more. Uh, that was just something special, guys. I haven't seen this kind of fishing off Atlantic City in a long, long time. At one point, I had them just rolling around the boat. Uh, unfortunately, I had my full, you know, my full uh, round of gear with me. That's not the right word. No, 
I don't know what I'm trying to say. Unfortunately, I didn't have my full, you know, armamentarium at my uh, disposal, but hey, we made do with what we had. We caught a lot of fish. Um, I got to look at this rod. I don't know why it keeps chafing off the uh, the braid. So it's always something that's fishing. But uh, yeah, super pumped, guys. Awesome day. Thank you so much for joining me. We were supposed to go togging, but it turned into a striper trip. Uh, we'll tog fish tomorrow. Hopefully the updated weather is better. It's supposed to really blow hard tonight, northwest. So uh, we'll see. I'm going to meet the guys at the boat tomorrow, the big boat, Reaper, at uh, 7 a.m. tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we'll kind of go from there. bluefish on top water that was really cool and a lot of fun memories a lot of great trips we'll see i don't know i'm not sure yet but yeah it very well could be so yeah i'm getting a little sentimental right now you get attached to these things you know they become uh you know part of you every boat i've had i, I you know i have such fond memories of so uh this one will be will be no different i'd love to keep her but i gotta get her sold so i can upgrade a little bit so you never know maybe we'll keep her one more season i don't know what the the boat mark right now is insane. It's like, you know, I almost kind of want to sell this high, but then I got to buy high. I almost just want to wait till the market crashes. I think it's going to go. I think everybody that bought all these boats, you know, with their stimulus checks or whatever, once that, once it's five dollars at the pump this summer, and then uh, stuff starts breaking on their brand new boats, they're like, what? What did I get myself into? But you never know. If you guys think different than me or you're a lot smarter than me on economical stuff, let me know. I'm curious. Ooh. Look at that sky, baby. Unreal. Unbelievable. Unbelievable sky behind me, guys. This is, uh, I'm telling you, I love this time of year. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Say hi to the world. Hi, world. Just putting that there, basically saying, hey, asshole, take out the trash. You like my hair? Yeah, it looks good. Some hair did. Yeah, not bad. What are you doing with all that stuff? It's recycled. Oh, okay. It's gotta go downstairs. Yes, ma'am. And you can take care of that, please. All right, yeah, sure. <laughs> 